hello everyone and welcome back to another video on pops productions tech in today's video i have here with me the samsung galaxy tab a 2016 10.1 inch uh, this is the lte model and in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to install bliss uh, based on android 10.0 this is version 12.11 and it comes with G apps, which is very cool because, as you know, a lot of ROMs out there you actually have to have a separate um, G apps package. And in, I wouldn't say most cases, but there are times when you experience issues, performance issues, when using G apps. So um, I'm assuming in here um, the G apps package applied is the. Um, is what works best on this ROM so um, I'm pretty confident about this one um, just trying to see if I can get some more info on this for you guys um, I will also forward the links I will um, of course give all credits to the developer of this ROM and of course as you know well, of course based on my experience with usage uh, Bliss has always been fairly stable so kudos to the developers um, and of course uh, this would be one ROM that I would recommend for this tablet. Um, so, without any further ado, let's get started. Let's get into it. Um, you need to first of all ensure that, because uh, what we're going to do now is... Um, we're going to um, install Twoop. So right now, let's head over to recovery mode, sorry, um, settings. <laughs> um, let's head over to settings. So on your device, head over to settings. And of course, that right now, providing that you have your files downloaded, I will touch on this in a moment. Um, so from settings, head over to about tablet. I'm currently on Android um, 8.0 stock. So yeah. Um, so head over to software information and from there you will see uh, build number so tap on that several times until you be, it prompts you for a password if you don't then it will turn off turn on um, developer options so i'm going to put in my password all right and from there it's turned on and um, from here developer options should show up <laughs> I know it's usually on main settings. I'm not sure if I should close settings and open it up again. Okay, yes, it did show up, so it's at the bottom here. Develop options. Um, from here, turn it on. OEM unlocking. So, what we're going to do is basically unlock our bootloader. So, let me put my pin in again. Alright, so. Uh, sorry. Right, this prompt will come up turn on all right so your bootloader has been unlocked and now we're going to install twerp <clears throat> so let me show you on here i have the file so you're going to in download the latest package you're also going to need odin so i'm going to link this in the description um you will also need the samsung usb driver um, which the link would also be in the description um, so downloads you have t580 which is the wi-fi model and t585 which is the lte model which is what i have so i'm going to select this one it will take you over to sourceforge where they have the files listed and you will select the latest version so this it would be this one which is uh, 1.3 gigabytes i have that already copied onto my tablet so now what i am going to do is oh, i was about to open odin so let me open up odin so um, at this point just ensure that you have your drivers installed just before you, you turn off your device um, and put into download mode just ensure that you have your Samsung USB drivers installed um, if you do and you're experiencing issues with Odin then I also have a video on how to address those common issues with Odin um, also this video can also be used if you want to learn how to set up those drivers so i'm just going to open it up just to show you how what it looks like if you haven't done it before um it might take a while though it might take a while so it just came up so yeah it's already installed so i'm just going to uh no all right so now what we are going to do is uh power of the device so power 
right, I'm going to press this button to power it off. All right, guys, so um, to boot into download mode, which is where we're going to boot into in order to flash to open to the device, we're going to press power, volume down, and home buttons simultaneously. So just hold on to these buttons. All right, so we are now in download mode. Um, from here, you're going to be saying this up here, so volume up to continue. All right, um, just to verify that your bootloader is unlocked, you will see over here FRP lock off. So just ensure that it says FRP lock off. If it is on, you wouldn't be able to flash to it enough. You may also be in risk of a boot loop. So just ensure that you keep that in mind. All right, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to connect this device uh, over here. And the PC now is going to um, detect it. And as you can see on Odin, let me show you guys real quick. As you can see on Odin, there is a, a blue, as you can see over here. So that means the device has been detected when this area here turns blue. And what we are going to do now is, uh, let me just put the device in here so that you can see the process. I'm going to position the device here. And head over to AP on Odin. So you're going to click AP. And from there, a window will open up where you're going to select whoop so head over to downloads and I have it in this folder whoop all right and from there um, head over to the options on Odin and uncheck auto reboot now click start and whoop will be installed onto the device and that is it now it says reset that means it's trying to reboot but then we disabled it so the device will remain on here so don't be alarmed now we're going to boot over to Twop. All right, so let's get started immediately. So um, disconnect the USB cable from the device. You wouldn't be needing it anymore. Um, so press power and volume, pa press your power button. So we're just trying to boot into recovery mode as quick as possible. All right, so I'm going to press that power and volume down. So the device should turn off. All right, and I'm going to quickly press power volume up and home button simultaneously. Hopefully the device boots into Twoop. Yes, it did, so that's awesome. All right, so we are now in Twoop, so let's swipe to all our modifications. Uh, before we continue with anything else on Twoop, uh, it's very important to make a backup, and then we head over to wipe and then install our ROM. But uh, there is an important file that we have to flash just before continuing and that would be on our micro SD card so this is the file right here all right so this file is going to be flashed okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to reboot and back into recovery. Okay, swipe again, head over to backup. Uh, based on experience, I've experienced an issue where uh, there are times when backups are not done, I'm not sure why, um, but uh, it, I usually experience an issue with making backups. Um, so just ensure that you select your micro SD. Um, also, keep in mind that um, on Android 8, um, it's now uh, mandatory that the internal storage is encrypted so whenever you're installing any custom roms and you unlock your bootloader then your internal storage will be locked out and you will be losing all your data so i will put a note on that in the start of the video just so that you guys don't run into any problems so i'm just going to put that in the beginning of the video so i'm just making this back up real quick perfect all right so now i'm going to head back and now 
let's go over to wipe advanced wipe dalvik system data cache okay uh let me see right, so we're running into some issue here let me just check this one build to mount data okay so it ran into an issue with mounting data let's try again So it turns out, guys, we'd have to wipe our internal storage. Um, we haven't any choice with this, so we're going to have to format data. So over here, click format data, and um, you're going to type in yes. So this is one issue when you have a device which is running Android 8 and above. Um, you risk losing your data whenever you want to install custom ROMs. So just keep that in mind. So advanced wipe. Let's try this again, Dalvik system, data and cache. Alright, so that should be done now, it works. Um, yeah, so this is one issue that you have to keep in mind. Now we can head over to install and on our external SD card we're going to select Bliss ROM and swipe to flash. Okay, so perfect, installation complete. So now we are going to reboot system. Alright, perfect. So boot up is complete. Uh, took less than two minutes. Perfect. So we are now on a setup wizard. I am going to skip through this. Alright, so I'm done with the setup wizard. Uh, I'm going to select my home app. Right? Wow. It also looks like it has a <laughs> native blue, which is pretty cool. And just before I end, I want to send this special shout out to the Bliss team for doing a perfect, a great job on this ROM. Um, I recommend highly that you guys support them as the best that you can. Um, Alright guys, so I guess I will leave the rest to you. Thank you for watching. I do trust that I helped you guys out. Um, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Share the video with others if you like my content. Don't hesitate to subscribe and i will see you guys in the other video don't hesitate as well to reach out to me if you experience any issues i will try to respond as the soonest as possible and of course visit my website as well i have a chat feature on there you can reach out to me on there as well thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in another video